call from Russia. So the priorities are changing very dynamically. And this surplus is generally used to be generally sent to Europe, our Polish facilities. And also because at that time the uncertainty about what this war was going to be, that is still today, but at that time was even bigger. So we decided to, to shut down the blast furnaces and we continue operating our open pit mines around 30% of, uh, of their capacities. So that was one of the first actions. So for the first 30 days, we operated with that footprint. Sometime, uh, let's say, we reanalyzed completely the situation and we decided to restart at least one blast furnace, blast furnace number six. And, uh, and there we are producing actually pig iron. In the meantime, we are trying to evacuate the products that are in stock. And, but we are using, of course, different routes. 60 kilometers from here, there are these tropes. So we don't know what is going to happen t today or tomorrow. And we hope that uh, the Ukrainian army will be able to push them back as it was done as, as, as up, to, up to today. So we are comfortable in this, uh, in this situation. But of course, we recognize the risk. We need to be realistic, you know, because uh, uh, the plant cannot be hit only by the land troops, but it can be also hit by rockets. And uh, so that is why we need to be realistic that the risk is still there. Our target, if the situation uh, will remain uh, like it is, is that uh, in May we will be able to go almost at 100%, let's say in June, almost 100% of our mine operation, 100% in June and uh, around 50% of our steel operation. Look, uh, let's say this plant uh, is the biggest single plant in Ukraine so for, for steel and it's very specific because we have uh, mining in the same place than the steel production. So I would say that uh, for the country itself that this plant is in operation is very important. We have our plan that is based on availability of the uh, railway no, on, uh, on in Ukraine. Because as I mentioned to you, ports are not operating now, so we cannot uh, rely on, that, on those. And uh, we rely on the availability of the railway routes. Of course, uh, if the railway routes are, are damaged somehow, we will suffer 